we, we've got to do something about this jumping up, yes. you know, so you won't have any human friends left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What we want to try to do, and I mean, we can do it right today, is every time you have a greeting that's kind of abrupt like that, and the dog comes and jumps out, um, just repeat it over, but have the dog sit. If it sits, it gets a treat and a pat. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And you just repeat it over until it's a nice greeting. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't appreciate that. Right. Me included. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And it really helps if you get your hand out in front here, you know, as if we're going to give a sit signal when the dog comes up. And that stops them from jumping. Otherwise, if they just present it with the body like this, they're going to put their paws on it. Okay. Right, let's try that again, put them away again, because last time when we tried to put them away, they didn't want to go inside. And if they learn that when we put them in, they don't have to stay there all day, we're just putting them in for like two minutes and they come out to say hello again. Come on, Joe. Come on, Jazzy. Come on, Jeff. What's a lot better is rather than saying, come on, and then we put you in your kennel, so the dog learns that come on is bad news, let's have a word. Do you call this something? The kennel, or what do you call it, this place? Um, the run. The run. We say, in your run, in your run. Throw the good dog. We throw the treat in. Right. Close the door. And here we go. And then we just pause for a while. Then we let the dog out. Then the dog learn. Jazz will learn. It's not the end of the day. Oh God, I'm not going in the run for like eight hours. It's yeah. just go in the run to get a treat.